It was the big moment. The big moment. He was asking her to marry him, but in her excitement, that ring went flying, slipping away into the sea. Thousands of dollars washed away. As this new couple learned a pretty tough lesson, Fox 25's Aaron Hawksworth with the story from South Yarmouth tonight. Aaron. Maria, ankles were held, torsos were in the water. One lifeguard even cut his head trying to help this couple find that diamond ring. Here's my empty finger. Some would call it a rough start to a marriage, but that's not the way this couple from Dedham is looking at it. No, yeah, no, we've definitely come to our senses and we're, yeah. we can laugh about it now. But nobody was laughing at Bass River Beach in South Yarmouth yesterday when Matt Cawley planned to propose to his girlfriend Stacy Scanlon by tying a $9,000 ring to a sand dollar and placing it on this jetty. And I was like, oh, Stacy, look at that sand dollar. She was like, what? What sand dollar? And then she picked it up and the knot came undone and the ring was gone. <laughs> That's when this couple, along with nearly 10 lifeguards, embarked on a massive search. It literally moved jetties. Like jetties. An entire like we picked jetty up like moved. four to like five 250-pound rocks with like ropes and pulleys. The tides were definitely working against us in this case. It was low tide when they originally dropped the ring, but it was quickly coming in. And as the jetty was filling with water, we were unable to obviously get down to the bottom of where the where the ring probably was. Matt decided to pull the plug on the search after coming up empty-handed for hours. That's when they broke the news to the jeweler. He went silent for about 30 seconds, <laughs> and I said, you see how silent you are for 30 seconds? Try four hours. But in life, there always seems to be a silver lining. And for this couple, that certainly holds true. His mom had insured it on Friday. God love her. Yeah, and yeah. so when we came back to the house, devastated, yeah. she informed us that it wasn't insured. So there's a little light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Well, word is definitely out about that missing ring. We've seen people out here with metal detectors trying to find it. And something tells me those aren't the same good Samaritans that are hoping to return it. We're live in South Yarmouth. I'm Erin Hawksworth, Fox 25 News.